Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to change the date style for your documents. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to change it two ways. There's many ways to skin a cat, so to speak, in Microsoft Word. There always seems to be several ways and you just need to find the one that works best for you or which one you stumble upon first. So the one thing that I would like to do is I'll just show you it would probably be easier just to see it so I'm using in developer I'm using the date picker which is one of the controls right here and I'm just gonna um, you either point with the mouse to click in and get it or I use the quick keys and it goes a lot faster when you're not explaining um, sorry about that L and K so this is a feature that you can use under developer and if you don't have the developer tab that you'll have to find another one of my tutorials telling you where you can turn that on. This is just a quick tutorial for changing the format style of date picker. So right now if I click on here you'll see that I get numbers the number for the month the day and the year. I don't like it when it's numbers for the month and the day because if the month is lower than 12, of course, I don't know, is this the month or the day? And that would be important if I used this document in a couple of years or another time and I didn't know if that was the month or the day. So it's to me, it's a lot better to have the month in letters. So I can change that in two places. I can change that under properties under the developer tab here. We'll just go here uh, under, you'll see properties right here. So I press L and right here, you'll see that I can pick what I want. I, I would like it, prefer it to be this. So I would just click on that and click OK. But I would like this to be changed whenever I do any kind of a document, not just when I'm in developer tab. So what you can do is you can change that under the insert tab and insert tab is way over here. So I'll use the end to get into that. And if you look at, um, oh, I need to get out of there first because it's not gonna let me put in a date when there's a date picker there. So I'm going to use the end and then over here we have date and time. That was grayed out because I was up on a date. So I can go into D and now here's the available formats and if you recall the format that was defaulted was this one i don't like that one so i'm going to pick this one and i'm going to say set as default and it says do you want to finish the fo date format to match that and i say yes and then click ok and so now you'll see that here's the date change there and now if i go into date picker it should actually have changed it there as well. I'll go into K and pick there. And there you see now it changes it there as well. So if I just wanted to change it for a form and I wanted to keep the default as the numbers, you can do that too. So it's totally up to you. So I hope that this helps you and have a great day. And you could have picked any of the options that were available when we were in, I'll just go in there just to show you what options are available. So we'll go back into here and then we'll go to here and you'll see that you just scroll through, find the one that you want and pick it. You could have the day, the month, the day, pardon me, the what day it is, the month, the numerical and the year, or you could just have it this way. So you just click on the one that you want and then you click okay when, when you, want which what which one you want whichever one you want so have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you'd like me to do a tutorial leave that in the comments as well and maybe I'll be able to do one for you so have a great day